Alright, so for this trick, I can have the spectator shuffle up the deck. After they're done giving the deck a shuffle, they would hand it to me and I would show them what's going to happen. So all I'm going to do is give the cards a dribble. They're going to say stop and then I would show them the card they stopped on and they would remember that card. That simple. So one more time, I would dribble the cards, they would say stop, they would remember whatever card is on the bottom here, and then we would go on with the trick. So now I'll give the deck one more shuffle just so they know I couldn't possibly memorize any of the cards from those two dribbles. So now here we go, spectator just say stop at any time. Say right here. Now make sure you remember that card. Hopefully you can see it. And now I would lose it right there in the middle. And the spectator can give these a shuffle. After they're done giving these a shuffle, they would hand the cards to me and I would say, Okay, I'm going to see if I can find what card you selected. So how about I go through here and... Just think of whether it's red or black. Okay, red or black. I think it's black. Now, think of whether it's clubs or spades. Clubs or spades. Okay, I'm thinking maybe a spade. Now it's either picture or number. So think of that for me. Picture or number. Uh, okay, I think I got it. So now, for the first time ever, your card, the King of Spades, and the spectator can actually hold out their hand. They would say, no, it's not the King of Spades. And I would say, oh, it's not? What was your card? So, let's say they say their card out loud for the first time. All I would do is give this card a little brush like that, and I would show them it wasn't the King of Spades. Maybe it was the Jack of Spades. Just like that. Alright, so, in a moment, I'm going to teach you not the trick that, per se, but actually the peak, okay? Now, I will go over what I did, but there's a lot of ways you can do the ending for the reveal. I just am going to teach you the peak. But without further ado, let's get into the second deck review for today's video. And if you don't know what decks... I got received for my birthday, you can actually choose for the next deck review. I'll make sure to link the video down below, but I already reviewed a Theory 11 Avengers deck, and the next deck selected was the Peanuts deck. So without further ado, let's look at this deck. <clears throat> so as you can see, it says Peanuts in white bold color, and then it says Snoopy. It has Snoopy on the doghouse. Laying down with Woodstock right there, then his red doghouse and his green grass. And it's blue right here and then green right here. It says playing cards, and I think this is in French, but I'm not too sure. So this is the front of the box. Nothing too much. The top of the box actually says the same thing as right here. Okay, so Peanut Snoopy. The side of the box says Peanut Snoopy playing cards, okay? And the other side says the same thing, okay? Then the bottom has the barcode. Now the back of it actually has the back design of the card, two of the cards, and then it says each card in this deck includes a new comic panel pulled directly from the Peanuts archives of everyone's favorite beagle, Snoopy. So as you can see, here's the back design. Now I'm going to try to get this as close as I can. Now as the front has the box, as you can see, one card is the Eight of Hearts, where he's actually holding a heart. And the other card is the King of Clubs. I'm not too sure what he's in right there, but these are the two cards. And then if we open up the flap, it's going to be white with a faded comic strip, okay? Maybe you can't see that. Okay, but there is a faded comic strip there. 
And then right here is white and like another comic strip right here. Okay, so now <clears throat> if we look at the inside of the box, I'm going to put these away. It's going to be totally white, okay? So nothing going on in here. So now let's actually look at each of the cards, okay? So the first things we're going to look at are the back designs. Now right here, it's going to match the front of the box, okay? Peanut Snoopy right there, okay? So there's nothing to go over for the back of the card. Now these are actually the two Jokers, okay? So right here is the first Joker. Has Snoopy in like a wizard hat with like a cape. And he's reading a book that says Magic Potions. And then the other Joker is actually of him as a vampire, okay? So he has the red cape and he has the pointy teeth, sort of. Yeah, I guess they are pointy, a little. But those are the two Jokers, okay? And this is the back design, okay? So this is what it looks like if you bevel it out. Now, of course, these wouldn't be good for magic, but these are a very good collector's item. And these are actually in order. I didn't use these yet, so what you're going to see is them in order. So let's go through each of the cards here. So this is the two of diamonds. As you can see, Snoopy is there just sitting. And let me know if this is actually a good angle to review the cards at, if you can see these perfect. And if these are a good enough angle, I'll do this with the rest of the decks to review. So the next one is Snoopy with a helmet and he's carrying a football. And keep in mind, you can pause these at this video at any time to look at the cards. The next one has Snoopy in like a thinking kind of state. So he's wondering about something. And then Snoopy's just sitting there, okay? <clears throat> so nothing going on there. Now Snoopy's taking a uh, relax. Uh, so he's relaxing on the doghouse. And it sort of matches the front of the box, too. The next one has Snoopy. I think this is called Joe Cool, okay? So he, he's like Joe Cool. And he has his board and, like, the water and sand. And then Snoopy doing his happy dance. <clears throat> we have Snoopy in a very big sweater. I, that might be snow, actually, right here, but I can't tell. Snoopy is in, like, a nightgown with some slippers and a cap. And then Snoopy is making himself something in the kitchen. So he has his chef hat, his, spa his uh, spatula, frying pan, and something right here. Snoopy hugging Woodstock. And Snoopy doing a really nice dance. And if you can't see, in the back of these cards, they're actually faded comic strips, okay? For each of the cards. That's just something to keep in mind. And then the Ace of Diamonds. He's playing, he's going to play tennis, it looks like. So he has his hat right there. Now Snoopy's like an aviator or a pilot. So I think this is actually called the Red Baron, but I could be wrong. Snoopy with his food dish or food bowl. Now he has glasses on. Now he's like a Boy Scout, so he has his hat and his, I don't know, satchel, pocket, I don't know what you call that bag. Snoopy is really angry here. Snoopy is, I don't know, maybe confused? He heard something, scared? Okay, so this is the other way. So now Snoopy is doing a headstand, okay? So that way... And then this way. And keep in mind too, since these are clubs, these are blue. And then the diamonds are red. 
now he has like it looks like a bunch of flies around him he's trying to get rid of now Snoopy's dancing again Snoopy's just sitting there now he's the Red Baron so he's gonna fly and then he and Woodstock look like graduates of some place and then he has his nightgown and maybe his candle. I'm not too sure what that would be. Now Snoopy's in the kitchen again. There he is. It looks like he wants to hug. Snoopy in autumn. Okay, so then his food dish. He's pushing the shopping cart. He has his donut and coffee with a blanket. He has his big bow tie. Maybe Valentine's Day, so he received a big heart, a banjo. This says menu, so he's at a restaurant. Maybe baseball with the glove and then the hat. Not too sure what this outfit would be. And then he and Woodsock at the car. And then he has a motorcycle. So he's really happy there. He has a dog bag. Dancing again. He has his maybe diploma in his hat. Maybe Valentine's Day card. Dancing again. Now he's gonna fight somebody. He has like a suitcase. He looks scared. He's ripping up the, so he's opening the present, tennis, Woodstock and him at the typewriter, and finally the Ace of Spades, a bunch of Woodstocks, and then Snoopy. So this was the deck. It didn't come with any double backers or anything, obviously, because these wouldn't be for magic. These are just a nice collector's deck. So I hope you enjoyed this deck review. Make sure to check out my 100 subscribers Q&A down below to see the other decks up for review. And now let's get into how to do this peek. And then I'll show you what I did for the ending and some other endings you might possibly want to do. Okay, so all I was going to do is teach you the peek. So without further ado, let's get into this. So I don't know if this has a name, but I call it the Dribble Peek. So essentially you dribble, they say stop, they remember it, and you know the card before they even look at it. So let's get into how to do this. So the first thing you're, go you're gonna wanna know is how to dribble, whether it's like this, or maybe like this, or maybe at the corners. Any dribble, really. You can play around with it, make modifications. But I do this type of dribble. So I don't have a tutorial on the dribble, but real quick I'll go over how I do this dribble. So your middle ring is on top, pinky to the side, your thumb is going to be on the left edge, and your index finger is going to be pointed or curled right here on top. And all you're really going to do is pull back with your thumb and let go of pressure. And cards are going to riffle off of your finger, or in this case, dribble, okay? Now, I might make a more in-depth tutorial on the dribble, but essentially, this is how you're going to do it. Not too bad. Or, you can have the same grip instead, have your index finger pointed out, and then you can dribble. I know some people have all three of their fingers here, and then they dribble too, Okay, so any way you want to do this, go ahead. But I find this way to be a little better because you're going to need a peek. So let's say the deck is shuffled and you explain to the spectator <clears throat> you're going to dribble and, where, and whenever they say stop, they're going to look at the card they stopped on, okay? And then I give the deck one more shuffle. So you're going to do this. You're going to dribble, they're going to say stop say right here. Now when they say stop, notice how for my thumb, it's lifting up the back, okay? And it's actually like this. 
so I can't turn the camera around, but if you play with it yourself, you're going to see when you dribble, you're going to want to watch your left thumb, okay, this corner, because you're going to be able to see the endancy, or the index, or the pip right here, okay? But you don't want the spectator to know you're looking at the pip right here. You're going to dribble, they say stop, and right here I can see Jack of Diamonds. Now before I show it to them, I lift up just slightly, and I can get a better peek at the Jack, okay? Maybe I can do it like this. So they say stop. And then I lift up a little more and I see the king of clubs, okay? So this is all you're going to do. So they say stop. You look them you look them in the eye and say, are you sure? And while you do that, you can just look down real quick while they're saying their answer. And you can see the jack. Now if you need to, you can lift up a little more and then, con then continue dribbling. And that's all there is to it. Now <clears throat> you know their card, okay? I'll go over that one more time. So if you have, so make sure you grab your own cards and follow along with me. So you hold it like this. And notice with my other hand how I have it like this, okay? So my hand is out, but my pinky is pulled in and it's sort of like in a, I don't know, grip like this. Okay, because the cards are going to fall like this, sort of, or like this. So when you dribble, they say stop. I can see ace of spades right there. You can see out of the corner of your eye, and then you can continue dribbling. So now I hand them the cards, and they give it a shuffle, and I say, okay, think of your card. I'm going to try to see if I can guess your card. All you're going to do is just find their card, okay? So any way you want to play this up, go ahead. But I find their card and I cut it to the top. Now if you guess their card right, so like black and then it's a spade and then it's a... I don't know what you would call the aces, maybe a picture. Then make sure you cut a black picture card, that's a spade to the top just to make it seem realistic, okay? And then you can turn over the card, okay? And all I do here is a double lift. So I know their card is the ace, so I play it up. So it's a black card, it's a spade, it's a picture. So I cut a black picture, okay? So let's say we do the queen of spades. Okay, it really doesn't matter. Then you say, okay, go ahead and hold out your hand. And this is what they'll do. Now you're going to do a double lift. And I actually have a few videos on the double lift. So I'll link those down below. But but all I did was the strike double. I place it in their hand. And then the, the queen is actually on top. So to get rid of it, but to do it in a non-suspecting way... I swing cut about half. I have a tutorial on the swing cut. So I hold it like this. Middle ring, pinky, or no, middle ring, thumb, my band, and then pinky right here. Push down and in. I swing cut about half. And then all I do is I come over, I grab the sides with my fingers like this. Middle ring, a thumb, and then I move this top half into my second knuckles. I put my fingers around it, I put my thumb at the end, and I spread my thumb out like this, or move my thumb out, which will move these cards out, but your other fingers are going to have to move out of the way. Okay, and this is a one-handed fan. I'll probably make a video on the one-handed fan sometime. But then I hold the card at the corner, sort of like a Mexican turnover. I brush it, and then I put these cards right on top. Losing that queen in the middle. They turn this over and they see the ace and the queen isn't on top. But there's a lot of endings you can do. Another ending could be this. So they dribble. They remember the eight of hearts. They lose it in. And they shuffle. You have them think of their card and all you're going to do 
is really move any two cards to the top you want to for a sandwich effect, okay? So let's say the two black fours, okay? So you can call these, you can do a pass, whatever you would like. But usually what I do is I take out my sandwich cards, I have the spectator look at these, and then I go through, either call or pass, but I think while they're looking at these, a simple cut wouldn't hurt. You have their card on top, and then you can do false cuts, false shuffles, anything you want. Maybe a double lift, show it's not on top, it's not on the bottom. You have the spectator pick up these cards, or you can. You just need a break underneath the eight of hearts. So you can pinky count, you can lift up, or you can put these on top, spread over three, Lift up, put your pinky in, square up, come over, put your middle ring pinky here, thumb in the back, lift up on three, move the four over, put it to the back, put these on top, cut them, go through, and show the eight of hearts. So that was the video for today. Just a nice peek you can do in the next deck review. I'll go over the peek really quick one more time, and then that will be it for the video. And make sure you vote on what deck you would like to see in my next video as well, okay? So let's pick all these up. So let's say these shuffle. Okay, gonna do it like this. They dribble, they say stop. You say, okay, remember this card. I can see the eight of clubs, and then you dribble it back in, and you can go on with whatever you would like. So that was the peek and trick for today and the deck review. I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to welcome all my new subscribers recently that have joined the channel. Hopefully we can get a lot more for 200 subscribers and then maybe do another question and answer or whatever you would like, but that's it. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.